It feels like Fortnite Season 7 just dropped, and yet somehow we're getting Kevin the Cube leaks for Season 8. On top of concerts, weapons, flying animals, and more, here is everything we know about Fortnite Season 8, starting with Kevin the Cube returning. So for the last few months, we've had so many teases of Kevin the Cube returning, from Raz having a cube piece in his pocket to the spires literally making the shape of Kevin once you line him up. But by far, the biggest hint was from old Donnie Mustard himself when he teased that Kevin may return after all. And that's all it's been, teases. Well, that's until now, because we have our first official evidence that Kevin will be returning soon. With this week's Fortnite update, leakers have actually discovered that new files belonging to Kevin the Cube have been added back into the game. And this paves the way for Kevin to return whenever Epic Games sees fit, and it could be at the end of season seven. Now, an anonymous leaker posted on Reddit a list of leaks, and one of these mentions that Kevin will actually return in an event at the end of season seven, and these files being added back today are kind of evidence for that. Take it with a grain of salt, he is an anonymous leaker, but something even cooler that might be coming in season eight is the new beehive grenade. So a weapon that all of us completely wrote off was the existence of something called the beehive grenade. It was an unreleased weapon a few years ago that would let you shoot beehives in an area. And then any enemy who went near the beehive will be swarmed in followed by the bees. It sounded awesome. There was even a leaked honey consumable a few seasons ago that people thought was like a Winnie the Pooh crossover and I mean, no one knew what was going on. That along with the old footage of the beehive launcher meant that we kind of gave up hope about this thing ever coming out. But this week everything changed because the honeycomb consumable was actually updated by Epic Games with a brand new animation. Which means they are still working on this bees idea to this day. We could possibly see it come in a future season. Maybe season 8? I guess time will have to tell. But things get a lot more interesting with the Ariana Grande concert. So as I mentioned earlier, an anonymous leaker posted supposed season 8 leaks to Reddit this week, and they claimed a lot of things. Kevin returning was one thing, but one of the most popular rumors out there right now is the existence of an upcoming Ariana Grande concert. And there's even evidence behind the leaker's claims as well. If you looked in the court documents for Apple vs Epic a couple months ago, you might remember that Epic accidentally leaked that they were working on a collaboration with both Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga. Now of course it would have just been Party Real concerts, but it is very possible that Epic Games decided to upgrade Ariana to a full-scale concert. And according to the leaker, Epic is already testing the concert, so in the next few updates, we could be seeing even more evidence pile up. And that is really exciting to hear if it's true, but with all the rumors like this, you have to be a bit cautious. Although the mods who did share the leaks claim that this person has been right about Fortnite seasons in the past, so I guess we'll have to give them a little bit of trust. Something a lot more concrete, though, is the Season 8 lobby design. Yeah, we're only halfway through Season 7, and we've already got our first leaks of what Season 8 8's lobby design will look like, including a brand new social tab that Epic Games is working on. For starters, here's the menu. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda looks like Netflix, but at the same time, it's kinda refreshing. It's definitely gonna look a lot more modern than the same dated playlist screen we've had for years, and we've had a lot of things change over the seasons, but the menus have stayed pretty much the same. I mean, really, only the Battle Pass screen changes, so this is awesome. And it doesn't stop there, because Epic is adding more tabs to Fortnite in the meantime. Soon we'll be getting a social tab, and we all assumed it would be some kind of way to look at Fortnite's like social media pages or something like that. But now that leaks have come out, it looks like it's way more than that. There's references to dates, live events, and more. Basically, it looks like a tab where you'll be able to RSVP for a live event, and you can see when it's in your time zone, as well as how many of your friends are attending. Which is exactly what Fortnite needs, and I'm so glad Epic's working on this. Now, it is expected to come out in Season 8, but it's very likely that it could even appear before then. In this week's update, we learned that a Coral Castle live event could be happening soon, and Epic might reveal the social tab just in time for it. But for things we'll have to wait until Season 8, you gotta hear about the Naruto and Dragon Ball Z collab. So we know from Epic vs. Apple's core documents that yes, Naruto was originally planned to be a Season 5 Hunter skin. Of course, he never came out, meaning that Epic weren't able to get the rights to him in time for Season 5. Those are facts, but the Season 8 leaks posted on Reddit actually bring Naruto back in the rumor spotlight. You might be asking why, and well the claim is that Naruto is going to be included in Season 8's Battle Pass, but they also claim that Epic are still trying to get the rights to him. So while it seems really odd that Epic would still be trying to get permission to use Naruto this close to Season 8, I guess anything is possible. Now, I would write this off as just speculation, but recently, leakers found out that Epic are actually working with a Japanese company that partially owns the rights to Naruto and Dragon Ball to make some collabs. So this could all be coming together really nicely. And for something that will be coming to Fortnite between now and Season 8, we have the Flying Animal Leaks. 
So data miners have actually found some brand new files with the latest Fortnite update, and they confirmed that we're gonna be getting a new wildlife animal this season. But this time, there'll be more than just another thing that runs around on the island attacking you on site. Instead, they'll be flying around the island and attacking you on site. We don't know exactly what the animal will be, so they could be much more than that, but we do know they are codenamed Avian and will be the first flying animal ever added to Fortnite. Now, some people speculate that it's actually the bees, and this is why the honeycomb consumable is being updated, which would make a lot of sense, but there's many possibilities as to what it could be. On a side note, what kind of flying animal do you want to see in Season 8? Let us know in the comments. But for now, something really exciting to look forward to is the return of Slipstreams. There's something from Chapter 1 that a lot of us actually forgot existed, but they were some of the most fun we've had in a long time. Of course, I'm talking about Season 9 Slipstreams. They were insane for mobility and made the pacing of the game way better. And so for you Slipstream fans, I have some good news, because leakers have pointed out that Epic has actually updated them to work in Chapter 2, and they even have new settings too. Now this could very well mean they're being prepared for creative mode, but it seems more likely that this is them returning to Battle Royale, especially because of how hard it would be to make it work in creative. Either way, creative or Battle Royale, it still means we have an extremely high chance of Slipstreams returning as early as Season 8. And if it's in Battle Royale, it would really give Chapter 2 that mobility it's desperately missing. But something Chapter 2 has not been lacking at all is superhero skins. There have been a lot of them, and that brings us to the Justice League collab. We've had a lot of Marvel collabs recently, and with Superman coming this season, as well as Batman Zero Point, it looks like it's finally time for DC to step up and have their turn. In the final issue of Batman Zero Point, we are actually introduced to Lex Luthor and the Batman Who Laughs, an alternate reality version of Batman. They are working with Sloan on some kind of big plan, and all of this is canon to Fortnite's storyline, which means for sure we'll see Lex Luthor and the Batman Who Laughs as skins in the future. But this idea has been proven even more now with the anonymous leaks. They claim they will be getting the Justice League as skins, as well as a ton of DC supervillains. They haven't confirmed exactly which ones, but it is highly likely to be characters like Katana, Deadshot, Enchantress, and Captain Boomerang. And while I can't wait to see what they look like in Fortnite, all I want is a King Shark skin. Is that too much to ask for, Epic? I mean, it can't be considering the plans for the season. Wait until you hear about the Rift Zones. Fortnite Season X Rift Zones were some of the most chaotic things Epic has ever added to Fortnite. I mean, I loved how many map changes they gave us, but they were really something insane. And it turns out Epic isn't done with them. According to leakers, the Mothership will be bringing back Rift zones in a new form. Instead of turning POIs back in time, it's going to make them have different powers. Some POIs will have low gravity, kind of like Holly Hatchery right now, while some will make everyone disguised as a prop, and others will make the floor slippery like ice. It sounds super fun, I'm excited to see what Epic has in store as we get closer to Season 8, and it looks like those plans include the new prop gun. So yes, we know the Grabinator weapon is right around the corner, but it's not the only piece of alien technology that's going to switch up the game very soon. We have a prop and creative, but Epic will be taking that one step further in the next few weeks with a Battle Royale prop gun. It seems like it will kind of ruin the whole idea of going to NPCs and buying a disguise, but I think I like the sound of a prop gun much better anyway, and it has a really neat design too. But a weapon that is going to be even more unique in Season 8 is the explosive kunai weapon. So we've heard that Naruto is apparently coming in Season 8's Battle Pass, but the leakers actually stated that if Epic are allowed to use him, they will also add an explosive kunai weapon to the mix. The kunai is a blade that a lot of characters in Naruto use, and if it comes to Fortnite, then a lot of fans are going to like that. Especially if it works like the exploding Batarang item from Chapter 1. That was a wild thing to use. But something that sounds even crazier is the bad news gun. So yeah, the alien nanite grenades can side grade your items into a lot of things, but right now they don't do anything if you have a pistol. And apparently that's going to change soon. In the files, leakers have discovered that the nanite will soon let you side grade your pistols into an unreleased gun codenamed Bad News. We don't know much about it or what it will look like, but other files say that this will shoot electricity. And considering you side grade from a pistol, it sure seems like a Zapatron pistol or something like that. Sounds cool. I'm more intrigued by weapon charms though. Okay, weapon charms seem like they were leaked years ago, and well, they actually were. We've heard nothing since, so why are you bringing them up, Top 5 Gaming? And well, just like the Beehive Grenade, not all scrap features are gone for good, it seems. And that's exactly the case for weapon charms, because just this week, new charms have been added in the files. And it means that Epic, years later, are still trying to get these things in the game. Could they be closer than we think? I think we'll see them in Season 8. I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest. But this next leak will be a little more shocking, though, so let's talk about the Sideways POI. 
Probably one of the weirdest leaks of season eight is this one. Apparently season eight is going to include a brand new feature called the sideways. It's gonna be like an alternate dimension that releases monsters onto the map and more. So basically a Fortnite version of the upside down from Stranger Things. Now this seems just, you know, I've gotta be honest. You hear this and you're like, this sounds made up. We're all thinking it, okay? And I thought it too, but with this week's update, leakers have actually found a brand new file that is literally called sideways encounters. I mean, that's just something to consider, you know? But the real monster is going to be Summer Ripley. Yep, we currently have our first look at a pickaxe belonging to the unreleased Summer Ripley skin, and it looks awesome! But a bit of time has passed and we've seen nothing about Summer Ripley. That along with the fact that Fortnite released the other Summer skins already, people thought they might have abandoned him. And well, in the latest update, a texture was indeed added. So yeah, it doesn't look like much, but it actually confirms that Summer Ripley is a skin and he's still coming. And if his pickaxe is anything to go by, he's probably gonna be made of water. It sounds sick. And that is all the leaks we have for the future of Season 7 going into Season 8 and maybe even Season 9. Thanks so much for watching, it's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.